Hey guys, Mike Vasile here, and in this video, we're talking about how to start an e-commerce business, and more importantly, how beginners can earn $100 to $700 per day. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, to remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop, where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. So I got into e-commerce because I wanted to find a way to create freedom for myself. I heard all these people making money online and I just thought, okay, well, if a lot of people are buying from Amazon, maybe they could also buy physical products for me. The only problem was, was I didn't know where to get started. I was overwhelmed, I was confused, and I just did not know what I know now. And that's exactly what I wanna share with you, are just lessons on learning what happened when you model billion dollar businesses like Gymshark. So the first step is let's actually take an example of what worked so well with Gymshark. Now if you don't know what Gymshark is, it is one of the biggest fitness brands right now that started off as a very tiny, very small e-commerce business. And it's actually very good to understand how they were able to worth $1.45 billion when they first started off with just two kids and just like a couple hundred bucks, right? That's the coolest thing about e-commerce is if you do it the right way, kind of like modeling what happened to them, that you don't have to do a lot of risk up front and actually hit your financial goals later on. So what they did back in the day before they were worth $1.45 billion is they first started off very simply, right? They started off as a simple drop shipping site. Now the first step is literally figuring out what people actually want and the drop shipping business model works really, really well with that. They created a simple Shopify website which is like five minutes to go and create your own e-commerce store and they have all these done for you templates so you don't have to be a designer, you don't have to have any tech skills, you can literally have your own e-commerce site done within five minutes. The most important part is really number two, and that is finding the right product that is actually going to sell. So of course, starting an e-commerce business can be very expensive when done the wrong way. Like, I remember starting my own e-commerce business and I thought dog leashes were gonna do really well. Right, so I literally bought thousands of dollars worth of dog leashes, and guess what? No one was able to sell, right? And exact same thing with this, imagine how hard it is when you need to get like different sizes of shorts or different colors or different genders or different lengths, there's so much different variations that you would literally need thousands of dollars to get started um, with an e-commerce business, right? But if you do the dropshipping model, it's a lot easier for market research. So for example, how it works is you have your own little website right here, you could put it on Shopify. And then what happens is a customer will come to your store. They're like, wow, this store is amazing. I wanna go buy you know, this t-shirt, right? I want it in this color and this size, right? And just like that, they're like, oh, we have it in stock. But you take the $200 for this t-shirt and you go and buy the t-shirt from the supplier for like 150 bucks. The supplier then ships it to the customer and then you get $50 profit. That's essentially what dropshipping is, is you are literally the middleman and you just take the money of the customer and you just get it from the supplier at a cheaper rate. Now this is literally what Gymshark did. Okay, back in the day they had their e-commerce store and they would put a bunch of designs of t-shirts and supplements and whatnot on their, on their store until they would actually find products that were able to sell. The moment they were able to find products that sold, they're like, oh wow, we're getting all of these colors and all of these sizes and all of these um, variations. Maybe that's what we're gonna order from bulk from China. So if you think about it, let's look at this. Fitness shirt. You can see it's kind of like the exact same thing as Gymshark, right? What they would do is they would literally put like pictures of products that they didn't own on their website. When they got a sale, they would find out what exactly people are buying. You know, they would find the variation, the color, the sizes, um, like the gender, who are buying more of it, right? And then they would just start dropping the products. Now they wouldn't do this forever, they just did this to get market research because it is the most cost effective way to figure out just who the hell people are buying from, right? If you were gonna go to China and buy like 100 different units of white and all different sizes, right, you would literally need thousands of dollars to actually go ahead and get started. But when you do this, your only overhead cost is literally the cost of like 29 bucks for the Shopify e-commerce store, and then you gotta find out exactly where people are actually going ahead and buying this. And you don't just need to use AliExpress, you could use eBay as well. Now, the moment you actually uh, start making sales, and the next question is like, well, Mike, how can I go ahead and make sales? Well, it's pretty simple, okay? What Gymshark did is they would take their products and they would partner with influencers. And the cool thing about uh, Shopify is they give you a promo code, right? So when you give these promo codes to all these influencers and these influencers are like, oh, if you wanna buy from XYZ company or Gymshark.com, we will give you 10% off if you use my promo code. The cool thing is the customer gets a 10% discount, 
but the e-commerce store owner will see exactly who are their top influencers that are making them the most money. Right, so you can literally come in here to um, you know YouTube and just for example, let's say for the sake of the argument, we're selling to cat people, right? Uh, I can literally drop ship or sell physical products to all these people that like cats and get someone like Mia Stone who only has 3,000 subscribers, but literally half a million views to make videos about my cat products. This person's not making any money, right? I can literally go up to me and be like, hey, I'm gonna give you a promo code, and if you make a sale through this, I will give you 50% of all of the profits that go through your thing. All you gotta do, Mia, is make a bunch of more cat videos that you enjoy doing. Think about how much free marketing that is. All you did was create an e-commerce store and give them that promo code, and now they're able to make money, which makes them even more excited. The moment you do that, that's when you start getting things in bulk from China, branding it, uh, you're starting to know exactly what products people want. You can even leave AliExpress, which is a lot of people dropped it from, and you can just go straight to the main supplier themselves. If I just type in fitness tees, Alibaba is a place where it consolidates all the top suppliers in China. You can see all these other fitness t-shirts and whatnot that probably could be sold on Gymshark that you can now buy in bulk for like really, really cheap. Except now when you go from Alibaba, you know, you can literally get your own designs and t-shirts and whatnot. And that's literally what Gymshark did. Like, look at these t-shirts and uh, fitness stuff. They all look like very similar to what these people already kind of buy. But now that you've got the analysis of what people actually want, you don't actually have to go through all the hardships of picking out which one actually is. Now, the moment you buy things from bulk from China, now you can actually brand it. Now you have a sellable store. Now you actually have a brand. And you did not have to actually go through the hard risks of all the upfront costs when you first start a dropshipping business. And like I said, the influencers are a huge thing because it's free. At that point, what you do is you literally build a brand around your website and get people to continually buy. The next thing that you could do is also add multiple upsells in your store so that once people buy, you could also increase your average order value. It is what is known as an AOV. Because when that goes up, you could actually spend more money to hiring more influencers and uh, really scaling your business, right? And once you understand that, the main goal of this is to collect email addresses. I know it sounds pretty complicated all the way up front, but the email address is what is the most valuable. Like for example, we're getting about 162 new subscribers every single day that are signing up from our email list. Now think about how powerful that is. Because now, when I wanna create a new product or a new brand or a new design, I can now just email the people that are already on my email list. You know, email lists are huge, right? Because think about this, you know, these people collect email addresses by, uh, you know, like people that purchase, people that leave, people that go sign up for the newsletter right here. Then that's how you built a really stable e-commerce business, guys. Guys, hopefully this helps. Of course, starting an e-commerce business can be complicated, but it doesn't have to be because there's little companies and businesses that will give you 50 to 75% of their entire e-commerce business and supplement business and health and wellness businesses and are willing to give you that percentage by partnering with them, meaning it takes away all of the hard work from starting your own e-commerce business. And of course, if you wanna know that way, which is the new way, then join this week's free workshop where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to my podcast and listen to all these amazing interviews of all these multimillionaires that literally live here in Bali, Indonesia, where it's the island of a bunch of random millionaires that have made money in various ways online. And I'll just live in this island. Check it out in the podcast link below. That, that being said, I love you guys. I'll see you guys later. Ooh.